Hey there, it's John Soskovich. It's time to send the birds out on pasture, but it's gonna rain all week. Wanted to fill you guys in on when to bring the birds out, what I'm doing to adjust for the weather, and uh, just kind of in general what's happening on farm with my chicks and the brooder right now. Hey, before I forget, I've been doing a podcast segment with Diego from Permaculture Voices. You can go to permaculturevoices.com forward slash John, J-O-H-N, if you have any questions about raising chickens for meat. I've been raising broilers for meat for a number of years now. I have a book out on my chicken tractors. I publish a lot of stuff on YouTube, and I know you guys have a lot of questions. If you want to have your questions answered, permaculturevoices.com forward slash John. Hit up Diego. He'll pass the information along to me. We'll record that episode, and you'll hear your questions answered on that podcast. Thanks. So it looks a little crowded because they're all huddled on the one side of the brooder. There's more space around me, but they're kind of shying away from me. You can see I have one of the buckets that they use for drinking on pasture, so they're already trained into that. And right now I have all the windows and doors open, so it's very ventilated in here. The birds have been getting prepared and hardening off for the weather outside. So it's not temperature so much I'm worried about. Temperature, a big temperature flux is something I would typically worry about if I was sending birds out early. Uh, these birds will hit three weeks old by the time they're out on pasture. Uh, so they're aged out and feathered out enough that they should be fine, they should be hardy enough uh, and ready for you know what the world has to bring to them. The thing that's bothering me is that all week calls for between a 20 and 60% chance of rain. So nothing crazy, it shouldn't be any thunderstorms, but we have a cold wet front and that cold wet damp the chickens really don't like and they don't do really well on it. I'm curious to see how that affects them uh, over the lifespan of you know the rest of their life until they're processed as my first batch of chickens for this season. So that's one of those things as a pastured poultry producer that you have to go against versus a barn system is that they're in the brooder, they were safe, but now the temperature matches that of outside and out on pasture, it's not gonna be sunny and nice every day that they're out there. There's gonna be colder days where they're a little more lethargic, they're not gonna eat as much or they're gonna eat more because they're colder and they're shivering and they need to generate body heat and that's going to affect your processing weights at the end of the season uh, or at the end of their season uh, because those birds will have that variance in how they've been raised and that's going to affect you know how they grow as pasture poultry producers we're more subjected to the forces of nature what the weather's going to do outside if it's cold and rainy if it's warm and sunny uh, that's going to affect how our birds grow and eventually how much money we make as farmers so for me, I kept the birds in the brooder a little bit longer. Today was supposed to be the longest, coldest, wettest day of this streak. So I kept them inside and I'm going to bring them outside. I'm going to make sure the chicken tractors are set in a part of the pasture where that north wind isn't as strong. Uh, they're not right in the middle of my pasture where the wind can be the worst in the spring. Uh, they're at more of a kind of a calm spot. Uh, and uh, the, the pasture, the uh, chicken tractors were all set up ahead of time. So even though it's been raining, the spot where the birds are going to land at first is still dry, which is important. Uh, so we'll see. I'll keep you guys in check uh, and tuned on what exactly happens and how the rest of my season unfolds. Subscribe to the channel to get those updates. Thanks for taking the time to stop in and watch the video. And until next time, I will see you out in the field. <laughs>